Migrants are coming to America in hopes of creating a better life, but their pathway to citizenship is not guaranteed. It's a reality one woman knows about all too well, and yet she's been able to establish a successful sewing business. Fox I Stephanie Bertini brings us her story as part of our Migrants in America series. Hi, my name is Sonia Castrojon, and I am an immigrant for 25 years. The English she now speaks, evidence of her time here. Her pride comes from a place of survival. And the sewing is part of the story, then and now. From when I was a girl, I was working as a seamstress. When I immigrated to this country, I thought I would find work like that as a seamstress. But when I came here, the situation turned out different, she says. Sonia Castrejon was 19 years old when she left Mexico and crossed the border illegally. In the town where I lived, you heard people saying there are those who will bring you here, she tells us, referring to the human smugglers who she says she paid to get to the United States. A lot of danger is how she describes the journey. She says it was poverty that pushed her out of Mexico. She came to the United States in search of a better tomorrow, she says. What she didn't expect were the challenges that come with what was and still is her reality. I am not not legal, she says, describing her immigration status in the United States. In order to survive, she quickly learned that any job is better than no job. And that's how she says she's making it, raising children, her oldest now 21, and her youngest 11, who can already sew quite well. If they give me construction, I will do construction. If they ask me to clean, I will clean. Wherever they give me work in the mornings, I go. And in the night, I am here. Here is where she operates La Michoacana. Her small sewing business gets its name from Michoacan, Mexico, where her family is from. They allowed me to do it here, she says. At this point, she's an expert at working around barriers. She pays a little rent and operates out of this small Brooklyn bookstore after hours. Creating garments and doing alterations for her clients brings in some money, but that's not all she does here. She also helps other women like her. Teaching them how to sew, she says, so in the future they can work. Her free sewing classes are for women who are in the country without work papers, with few work opportunities that usually pay almost nothing, she says, telling us she knows firsthand that being paid under the table often means well below minimum wage. Susana Vermejo has been in the United States for more than 20 years. Married with children, she knows all about finding ways to make it. Thank God that she gave me the opportunity, Sonia, for these sewing classes, she says. After spending years working odd jobs for little money, difficult is how she describes it, the idea of being able to take on clients for herself one day is clearly empowering. But this is about more than that. I feel like I am family with Sonia. Coming to these classes, one disconnects from the problems and life outside, she says. Being surrounded by other women with similar stories is comforting. The majority of us immigrants, we have a life that's very difficult, honestly, she says. It's not easy, says Victoria Tiros. I always talk to God and I said, I can, I have a way, she tells us. And she's found a way to make a life here. She She's raised children as a single mother, working any job she could. And even though it was tough, she says it's still better than the extreme poverty she left behind in Mexico. Now, more than 30 years later, knowing her kids live an American lifestyle, La satisfacción más grande. the satisfaction is very great for a mother, she says. She's hoping these sewing classes will help her elevate financially one day. Más complicado, no? Very complicated work rent, food, everything is expensive, she says. As these women look at the surge of migrants coming to New York City now after crossing the border illegally, some 150,000 according to the city since last spring, they understand what drives them. I think the people hear the same things that I was hearing. America is different, there's money, everything. 
They also understand the challenges ahead. If at times I cry for what I went through to me, it's for everyone because we are all going through the same thing, she says. According to the Pew Research Center, as of 2021, there were more than 10 million unauthorized immigrants living in the United States from different parts of the world. Achieving legal immigration status in the U.S. is never guaranteed. I know that at any moment they can send me back to my country because I am illegal here. My fear is there, but I am a strong woman. She credits her faith, the faith I have in God, and she hopes one day her main goal in America will be achieved. My papers, she says. Although for her, a pathway to citizenship has not been possible yet. A lot of people don't understand we are here out of necessity. And Castrejon says because she does understand, she will keep running these free classes to help the migrants in America, specifically those here in New York City. I have a list of 400 people waiting, she says. With donated sewing machines and supplies, she buys herself. By word of mouth is how her wait list keeps growing. When you know where you came from, how you suffered for me, it gives me the need to help. Stephanie Bertini, Fox 5 News.